Tomorrow, me and a buddy of mine, a co-worker, we're going to go out trolling some northerns. Um, the lake we're going to is a private lake. It's a uh, neighboring county. It's the deepest lake in the county, that like 118 feet deep. It's also like 230 acres. It's crystal clear water. I've fished this lake for, you know, 20 plus years now, and uh, I've caught, you know, probably my top five biggest northerns I've ever caught in my life out of it, you know, and here in northwest Wisconsin, we don't have a lot of lakes that are real well known for holding big pike, you know, everybody occasionally gets lucky and will catch a 40 inch one. I've, my whole life I've been trying to catch a 40 inch northern, and I've yet to do it. Last summer, me and the same friend, we went out there trolling northerns and um, that was like the middle of July, or just the beginning or middle of July. Um, you know, I hear that in the summertime when the water gets warm, the northerns move out of the shallows, they go out to deeper, cooler water. So I experimented with that. I went and bought um, some deeper divers last year. Like, this is the bait last year. Um, it's a Rapala Deep Down Husky Jerk. Uh, we trolled, I tried keeping, you know, the boat around 30 foot of water the whole time. The bait dives to around 20. Tried keeping the boat around 30 foot the whole time and all day long. We trolled and trolled and trolled and didn't have any luck. Um, I did pull, I think, one little northern and a bass trolling that day, but right before we left, um, right before we left, we were headed back to the landing, actually, and I got a hookup. At first I thought it was a fish, and then I started fighting it. You know, everybody says that uh, big northerns, they they kind of, they're dead weight, and that was completely accurate with this fish. It was ended up being 38 or 39 inches. It was complete dead weight, though, but it, to date, my biggest northern I've ever caught, so I'm going to try to replicate that tomorrow. Um, like I said, it's natural, you know, it's clear water, so I'm going to use natural colored baits. Black and silver seems to always work the best out there. I, this is the black and silver down deep husky jerk. And before that, you know, maybe, maybe tomorrow they aren't going to be quite so deep yet, but these X-Wraps... These number 14 um, black and silver X wraps, just the regular ones. It's actually uh, the salt water size. The 12 is like the biggest natural, their fresh water size that they sell. The 14s are a salt water size. So they're pretty hard to find, you know, around Wisconsin. We're about as far from the ocean as it can get. But if you buy them online or get lucky and find them in a sporting goods store around here, I buy those and I use those for trolling northerns, you know, maybe some guys even use them for muskies, they're a little undersized for muskies in my opinion, but um, I had a ton of luck off trolling those things in this that particular lake, like I said the top four or five northerns I've ever caught came all off the lake and most of them came off that black and silver x-wrap. I've caught a couple of them ice fishing on tip ups, of course. And most of the time, that's off shiners. So again, silver. Or I have caught some off sucker minnows too. But so black and silver seems to be the color. That's what I'm gonna start with tomorrow. Um, maybe if you know trolling isn't producing, we might do some casting. Maybe I'll throw some some uh, spoons or spinner baits or something. I'm not for sure yet, but we're gonna try trolling anyways. It usually produces for us. Um, I actually went out to the lake last week. I took my wife out there and we, you know, she, she always has the big dreams like me too of catching a big fish, but you know, she doesn't really have a ton of experience or anything catching a fish like that. So we went out there and we just brought our bluegill rods and then I brought a couple of bigger ones for, I put, uh, sucker minnows on just a bobber and a sinker and trouble hook and we put sucker minnows on them. Well, she didn't have any action with hers, so she just quit and kept catching bluegills. I actually broke my line catching bluegills, and it was so windy that I didn't have time 
to maneuver the boat and tie on a new one. So I just stuck with the, the bobber and the sucker minnow. And I had a hit. Took my bobber down, but I went to set the hook too soon and lost it. And then, I don't know, it's a half hour, 45 minutes later, I got another bite on it. And ended up catching like a 31 inch northern. It was probably getting close to 10 pounds, eight or nine maybe. That was the only northern of the day, but that lake is extremely, extremely overpopulated with bass and bluegills. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Um, I've actually netted bluegills out of there, just screwing around. Um, I'll cast these big baits and honestly have a school of bluegills come back to the boat. The bluegills used to be huge in that lake. Now they're, now they're kind of small. They're, it seemed like they've gotten a little bit better this past year, actually. In the last four or five years, they just, you know, got the big heads and skinny bodies because they're all overpopulated. But the bass out there are way overpopulated too. So I'm, they're not really worth catching anymore. So the only thing I like to fish out there this time of year or really is trolling northerns, wintertime, uh, ice fish for northerns. Um, the bluegills do seem to be getting better, so I occasionally take my wife out there fishing. Tomorrow I'll post, I'll try to post a video if I, you know, we get anything. It's going to be hard to do in the boat. It, 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 like I said, it's a private lake, so there's not a boat landing anywhere on it, but there is two boats that are there for the public to use, so you have to use those boats. They have trolling motors set up, so we have to bring a battery, which will be nice because I'll bring my Optimarine battery. So, I'll try getting a video. If we get a hookup or something, I'll try getting my phone out. Might be hard. I don't know if the other guy will be willing to videotape for me if I catch one, but maybe I'll pull out the camera and videotape him if he hooks into one. So, I'll do that. If not, I'll come back and post a video on how we did anyways. Maybe maybe the fish afterwards or something like that. I'll try to get something. But... Good luck fishing and comment down below.